Hello and welcome to the third part of the demonstration of segment routing using ONOS. In this video, we will show how the network recovers from failures. As before, we have an active ping going through the network between host 1 and host 2 that um, at router 101, it's represented by these three outgoing interfaces and an ECMP group that pushes the label 106 for the destination router 106. As we can see, that ECMP group is group ID 6 with three buckets in it. Um, and the counters for each of the buckets, as well as the entire group, is going up. So the first thing we'll do is um, remove one of the links um, on the outgoing interfaces, on one of the three outgoing interfaces. Um, so in Mininet, we will go to switch ones ETH4 interface and take that down. Now, as you can see, the controller took action over here by removing that interface from the ECMP group. This group with group ID6 now has only two buckets as opposed to uh, the three buckets that it had before. But you can see that the ping uh, continues as before and this was really just a local action at uh, router 101. But what if we took down a link further down in the network, say the link between switch 5 and switch 6? This now changes the graph of the network uh, topology, and that will result in um, a reconvergence in the entire network. Um, so back in Mininet, we will go down and go and take down that link. And what reconvergence will do uh, is that it will point um, the IP table entry at router 101 to take a different group as opposed to the ECMP group uh, ID6. So you can see here now that the uh, counters are incrementing for um, group number 18, um, which only has a single bucket, which still pushes the same label 106, uh, but now has a single bucket that goes out of interface 5, which is the only remaining uh, interface on along the ECMP shortest path. Uh, to router 106. Now if we go back and um, bring that link up, you'll find uh, that the controller um, does not immediately take action. In fact, it waits for a while uh, before it reroutes uh, uh, this ping uh, back to the original um, uh, ECMP group uh, ID6. And it takes this action, it takes this delay in action because we want to spread bad news of links going down fast, but we want to wait um, uh, before we spread good news of links coming back up so as to avoid a lot of churn in the network um, um, with links flapping. And finally, we go back and uh, bring up uh, that uh, remaining interface, and now we are back to using uh, the original group ID6, and that group, ECMP group, has uh, the three um, buckets for the three outgoing interfaces. So this was a simple demonstration of um, uh, recovering from uh, link failures uh, in this network. We can do the same for node failures as well. Um, and in the next few videos, we are going to look at how we um, can override uh, default uh, behavior by creating tunnels and policies.